Hi, this is Josh from Josh Builds and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper handheld cannon. Now there is an explosion that goes on inside of this and it is very dangerous, so please do not try this at home. To start off, I get three sheets of paper and I'm going to tape them together. This is going to be the barrel of our cannon. Make sure to tape both sides. I only taped one side, but you should tape both sides to make it work properly. Now I'm going to roll it around the straw. The reason I use a straw is because this is going to be our bullet as well. And it needs to fit perfectly inside of the barrel. Now I'm going to fold another sheet of paper in half and cut it in half. And then I'm also going to get another one and fold it and cut a quarter off of it. Now basically the idea is both of these are going to wrap around the barrel as well. And basically I want as much paper possi as possible on the back because the back is where the explosion is going to happen. And I want to make sure the back of it doesn't blow apart. have the two halves taped together I'm going to roll that around for the last part of our cannon's body. Now for the propellant I used a pack of fireworks. These are little fireworks that I got that just make a quick little pop sound. I'm going to take the individual parts out of this and use these as our propellant. I glue a little piece of straw onto the back of it just to help me mount it on the inside easier. And here I fill up a piece of a straw with glue to make it heavy. This will be our projectile. Now I'm going to roll one last piece up. I'm going to use this to build the handle. I'm going to put the bullet in the front and the charge in the back. And now I light it and test it. As you can see it fires out the back as well because I didn't glue the back in. But I didn't think I needed to because I thought we'd have enough pressure anyways. As you can see the first shot I missed. The second shot I realized it's just not firing hard enough to knock the cups down. Now I also tried from the front because the back seemed to be exploding pretty solid and it actually blew my front apart so I had to cut that off and now it's a little shorter. Fires again and nothing happens. So this time I glue the back shut. Now gluing the back shut actually helped us out a little. It gave us a little more pressure and that made it work. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Feel free to like and subscribe and check out ways to support me to help me make more cool and better videos like this one. To see my other projects and buy parts you might need, you can check out my channel or my website joshbills.com. You can also follow me on my social networks to keep updated with my new content. Thanks.